and we are going to get everybody updated on the contest here. I've got some great charts to show you all. I've got great information, and uh, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm waiting for this opportunity to show everybody kind of where we're at, where we've been, and uh, and what's been happening here in the competition. Remember, this competition goes um, goes till the tenth. And uh, it's going to be a great, uh, great way to do this. So let's get into it this morning here. And I'm going to show you a little bit about the competition. I think everybody's going to enjoy the way that we've had, uh, we, we've had the first day. What an amazing day that we've had. Amazing day that we've had to the start of the competition. Um, we've had 328 people eliminated on the very first day. Very first day, 328 people eliminated. 53 of those, 53 of those people were disqualified uh, with an overnight position. So again, that's brutal. You, you leave the position overnight, uh, you know, you're disqualified from the competition. So uh, overall daily loss limit, 275. Overnight positions, 53. So total of 328 people were eliminated on day number one. If you take a look at this, if you can see this chart right here, you're going to see uh, the, some of the people that were disqualified. This is by team. So Corey, naturally Corey with the biggest team in the competition, he had 55 people eliminated from his team. William Anderson, one of our other great account managers, had 34. Ethan, 26. Clark Keller, 25. Andy, 23. Mac, 22. And 21 for Mike Sanders. So again, this is by team. And all of our account managers are teamed up. Uh, for the competition as well. So you can kind of see where that lays. Corey um, in the lead with not the one that you want to be in the lead with. <laughs> but we will certainly talk about that as we go forward here because we've got a lot of other great things. I want to believe that uh, that Corey's just leading here because he's just got the biggest team. And uh, But, you know, that's really no team has an advantage regardless of the team size. So anybody can win here. It's anybody's game. And when we to that and we talk about anybody's game, we have to talk about the top 20. Now, how about this? Anwar, the very first place with $26,000 on his P&L. And here's the key I wanted to point out, Mayor. Eight tickets. Eight tickets for $26,000. Now, I think I need to be, I think I need to be, <laughs> um, have a, have a uh, mentoring session with Anwar uh, because that's a great, Great job. And the key point here as traders, you don't need to trade uh, a lot to be a, a, a great trader and to be in the lead of our program here. $26,000 has doubled the second place uh, person, David H., at twelve five. dollars uh, Tamir at 9700 almost ten dollars uh, is, um, is the third place here. Fourth place, Kirk, Samuel, and fifth. And you can see everything over here on the left side that's in yellow all the way through 10th place. That's where we're going to be paying this competition. Remember that big pro package up for dibs on number one place. We're going to be giving away student packages and intro packages to, to uh, our top 10 traders here. And remember, traders, I want you to understand, this is day number one of at least 10 days of trading here. So again, a lot of people out of the gates quickly, but we've got a long way to go. And to do it, you've got to be consistent over the terms of the uh, of the competition. So again, that's a fantastic uh, fantastic job there. Also, um, here if we if we proceed forward, so this will be our top twenty. Uh, uh, those of you that are down here, let me move this up just a little bit. Twentieth place, so Scott. Could you, could, could you hold on uh, a second? Five grand yesterday. Scott, could you hold on a second on yep, the winners list? Sure uh, thank you. Uh, guys, I've, I've been looking to some of these traders' uh, trades, the trades they took, like Anwar, for example. He was um, basically trading this uh, Soli thing, uh, S-O-L-Y, uh, which is a huge mover, but uh, wiped out most of the people who were, who were out of the game yesterday were wiped out because of S-O-L-Y. So... I don't want to say he's lucky. Maybe he's a great trader. I don't know him. He could be a great trader. He could spot the right uh, entry points. He could have done a great job. But that needs to be proven. This needs to be proven. He needs to prove that he can continue doing the same thing he does. Or 
if and again excuse me Anwar I don't know you personally but in case that was just pure betting the chance that that would hold on is 1 to 100. The chance for that to hold on is very very low and uh, David uh, was doing quite the same trading quite a lot of SOLY too. The sus more sustainable trader in my opinion would be uh, Timur here who's uh, number three. He also if I remember correctly traded uh, SOLI but um, he traded several other stocks and he did it uh, in my opinion in the most professional way out of uh, the first list. So if, if I want to put my bets right now on who's going to win the competition which of course is very very hard to do based on the first day it's impossible to do based on the first day I would give Timo more chance to win the competition rather than you know getting erased out of the competition like possibly David or possibly Anwar and again I'm sorry I don't know you guys good enough I don't know Timo good enough I don't know any of you guys so the thing is if you're doing that whatever you did yesterday gaining $2,600,000 or $12,000 or even nine or the rest if you were doing that without really betting your way through your trading day taking risks that you shouldn't take then I salute you but again I don't know you and that needs to be proven in the next few days. Chances for that if you're trading SOLY is that you will most likely to get erased out of the trade out of the, this competition but again sorry I don't know you guys we'll see about it in the next few days. So this is the first day I look forward to see what's coming next and I do not encourage you those who are not on the list to take these huge risks like this SOLY and things like that I certainly don't encourage you you're most likely like 99% gonna get uh, out of the competition real soon and I don't think you should so if you've been lucky or you've been a great trader that I don't know and I wish you all the best you can continue Scott yeah so during that time you've got uh, here's the top five uh, account teams here uh, William Anderson, uh, who's got Samuel B on there, um, and uh, there, there's Thomas Mack, Bert. All of these uh, average number of tickets per team. You can see 24, 21, 20. So that's been the average amount of tickets per team. And as Mayor was saying, what I found very interesting is what I went ahead and we looked at the number of trades. So I want you to take a look at the how the the number one uh, trader placed the solely trade. And when you look at it here. You have to look at it and say to yourself, okay, uh, Soliton Corporation, um, you know, it's a Canadian company, yesterday skyrocketing, and uh, take a look at the, at the way that it was traded here. Traded only one stock, so your leader of the, of the first day, and as Mayor was pointing out, the leader of the first day, um, as, as they first day came to the close, uh, Anwar, we're looking at Anwar's trades right in front of you. So I want you to take, pay close attention. This is how, what happened on day number one. Traded only one stock, SOLY. One stock, bought 5,000 shares to, to, to start, bought another 5,000, bought another 5,000, bought another 5,000, and then sold $20,000 or 20,000 shares all at one time. Okay? All at one time here. And this was within, I think it was five minutes. So again, bought 5,000 shares at 11,624, and then in the next five minutes took another three long positions here, one, two, and three. Okay, got up to 20,000 shares, and then sold all 20,000 shares with his profit. After, after they closed this position, he took another two partial long shares at 5,000 and closed out with another 10,000 shares right here uh, with a profit on that 10,000. Okay, so that's how it was done. Everybody wanted to talk about the quantities being used. There's a share example of 5,000 shares with an $11 stock. Okay. Now, let's take a look at second and third place. This is an example of third place. Traded six symbols. Okay. Six symbols. AMD, Momo, Roku, SOLY, SQ, and Tiva. Started the day of shorting Roku. You could see the two top, uh, top trades right up in here with 1,000 shares apiece. 
Okay, covered Roku full position at 2,000 at 90, uh, 17. Right. So again, shorting for about 17, 20 cents uh, for the uh, uh, for the trade, and then went ahead and took the long position on Momo. And you could see how it's happened here. Shorting Tiva a couple of times here, 10,000 shares at one point, another 5,000 shares, and then took a long position on SQ for a couple thousand shares. And you can see how this has happened, and we're looking at how these traders are doing. And I think it's very interesting, like Mayor said, I think a lot of the strategy, you know, these high-flying stocks over time are going to come up and bite you in the rear end. But it's interesting to see how now traders are starting to get in there with large share size and take the discipline approach, I think we're, we're here in third place. Our third place participant, um, who uh, Tamir, is looking really good. Looking really good. So he's kind of got more of a disciplined approach, using that share size there, taking several trades, um, probably not over trading. Uh, this is a 20, how many trades did, uh, did uh, Tamir have? 45 tickets, so about 22 and a half trades, 22 trades or so. Yeah, it's a bit over trading. Uh, and, uh, uh, not a bit, it is over trading. It is over trading. But uh, yeah. he, he divided yeah. his trades to stock that I could consider, um, you know, good. Um, it, it took, uh, I saw his positions. I, I think he, he, he traded them well, although he was definitely over trading. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think the key to what Mayor is saying here is there's a difference between difference between taking a high flyer like Soli, S-O-L-Y, and when you strategize with that, that's not the strategy that you're going to want to have as a long-term trader because you're going to get bit. We've seen it so many times, as Mayor pointed out, that when you start to play with fire, you get burnt, and uh, oftentimes that's the key. But you know what? You have to take your hats off to, uh, to him because he's leading the competition on war, and we're going to see that and see how that transpires. So this is day number one, and this is how these people got here. We're going to end with just showing you again the total P&L, 26 grand on the first day. So traders, we're going through June 10th. There's your top 20, and the key to it all is we're going to provide you a midday snapshot uh, today, um, and then at the end of the day, I'm going to come back on work, and I'm going to give you a kind of an end-of-the-day wrap-up. Uh, that will be less commissions, so commissions will have to be figured out in there but tomorrow at the same time, we'll kind of give you the final from, from today. Uh, we'll place everybody. We'll rank everybody. So you're going to see on a day-to-day -day basis at least that top 20 list. So it's going to be great. I'm excited about it. i got to tell you, it's, it's interesting the way that people have done it. Some people have done it, what I would say, may a little bit more traditionally. And some people have done it by you know, taking stocks like SOLY and, and, and betting the farm on them and, and coming out really, really good. Right. And, and so, you know, I would like to conclude this in a way that, uh, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll definitely be looking at, uh, for example, Anwar's trades. Uh, if that wasn't just a one day trick and he can continue doing that, uh, possibly we've got a person here who, who, who was a great trader. I mean, I'm not saying uh, this is impossible to do. I'm just saying that based on my experience, it's almost impossible to do. But unless animals going to prove us wrong. I mean, that's why the competition is not just one day. It's 10 trading days. And we'll see about that. Okay. Yeah. So again, traders, the takeaway from today is remember, this is day one. Mayor and I are kind of overhyping it a little bit. But again, I think it's the, if, if many of you have heard the tortoise and the hare story, you know, the, the rabbit gets out of the gate very quickly and the tortoise catches them at the end. So again, it's going to take that, that consistency that we preach in the room each and every day. For those of you that are new into the room, uh, you'll start to understand that. I think you've seen that today. I'll tell you what, Mary, you've had five winning trades this morning. I've had four winning trades this morning. I think we would, I think we would have a good shot today at, at uh, breaking into the top 20. So, and we did it, we did it on a, we did it on a consistent basis, did it on a consistent basis this morning. And uh, that's what we do each and every day. But, uh, okay, going to be fun, Mayor. Going to be fun to watch how, uh, how all of them, um, you know, move forward throughout the days. So that's the, that's the midday recap, traders. We're going to continue to do that a couple of times a day. And uh, looking forward to see what, what happens at the end of today. And just a quick look, traders. Here's how my account uh, looks like today. I had a great trade in ANF, added as it came down. 
over three grand, still holding 300 shares. Uh, Kera did well, although I reduced and then, you know, took my partial, so um, small winner in Kera. CPRI is doing good, still holding 200 shares. Goose as well. And um, GPN, I have it from yesterday, so if you count out these $500 that I have from yesterday, I'm over four grand today. So feeling good, having a great day. I was down almost $1,000 yesterday, so uh, made up for it and uh, more. Enjoy my day so far, less than one hour into the trading day. And hope you guys are doing good too.